Hello, so now we are going to calculate the confidence interval for test of hypothesis using MATLAB. So we are going to use the same example that we have seen before. We have this example, the same as we have seen. Now we are going to see the confidence interval using MATLAB. In confidence interval, we calculate the upper limit and lower limit as an interval and if a mu naught or the hypothesized mean lies in between, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Otherwise, we reject the null hypothesis. So now we go to MATLAB. So initially here, this is the same code we have seen before. We initialize the data, define the samples. We calculate X bar, the average or the mean of data. We have N, the length of data. We have mu, the hypothesized mean 500. We already know sigma, which is 2. So now the next point is to calculate the limits, which are the lower limit and the upper limit of the confidence interval. So now the important command is norm env. In the norm inverse, we have two input, three inputs. First one is the probability or the area under the curve. So now we have two areas. We have the cumulative distribution or the cumulative under uh, area under the curve to be 0 0.025. This is the left side of rejection area. Now in MATLAB only uses the CDF or cumulative distribution function. So for the right one, we have 0 0.975. So now for 0 0.025, this is the area from minus infinity to the left side. Also, this is the area from minus infinity to the right side will be 0 0.975. We input the mean of the of the distribution, which is x bar. Also, the standard deviation is sigma divided by square root of n. So now L, in fact, will be a vector of two values. The first value will be the lower limit. The second value will be the upper limit. So we have the if statement. If the mean, the hypothesized mean, is between the lower limit and the upper limit, we fail to reject the null. Otherwise, we reject the null hypothesis. Now let's run and see what happens. In the command window, I see we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So what happened? Now, Calculating all these values we have seen before, the x bar, sigma, and this is the data mu. The new one is L. L is the upper limit and lower limit. So now we have the upper limit and lower limit. We have lower limit 498.40 and upper limit 501.0178. We notice that the mu is 500 lies in between these two limits. So now if statement, this if statement is executed. We have the mu lies in between the lower limit and the upper limit. That's why we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Now we can go back to see if we have the same result. Yes. So now previously we have seen from the tables and this relation, this calculation, we have the confidence interval from this value to this value which are the same that we have got here in MATLAB from this value to this value. So our conclusion uh, apart from the way we are using we will fail to reject the null hypothesis.